Hello, I'm Blue Snub, and today we're going to be looking at a weapon that doesn't quite fit on my screen. This is, of course, building the best, and we're going to be looking at the Jack Attack, or the Jet Hammer, as many people like to call it. Now, this weapon boasts the highest impact of any melee weapon in the game, which makes it not that effective against anyone, but very funny to use, as this weapon always ragdolls. And I mean that, it always ragdolls. It is ridiculous ridiculously funny to use. So of course with a melee weapon we're going to start off by looking at the two possible stances which are Crushing Ruin and Shattering Storm. Shattering Storm of course has the hilarious uh... is it Smashing Fury? No, I'm thinking of the other stance. Is it Crushing Ruin? One of these stances has the funny spinning thing that you do that's awesome and I think think it's the stance I'm not looking at right now. Anyhow, we're going to put Crushing Ruin on because we want those 10 extra points. And the combos on this are ridiculously easy to do. You just hold block if you want a spin around the map attack where you're blocking if you're not thinking about what you're doing and you hold down if you want an attack which smites the thing right next to you with a ridiculous proc. So of course, with any weapon we're going to ignore the Lotus and stick on pressure point and forget our alphabet spoiled strike pressure point and spoiled strike start off with and see this thing boasting now 300 damage we're gonna go to dash polarities and find a certain mod I like to call primed heavy trauma now I tried to max this yesterday but I don't have 500 king fusion cores so I didn't I'm gonna stick that over there and now we're looking at 682 damage and we still have five slots yet to fit. Now this is delightful. Of course we're going to go for Fury. This weapon absolutely has to have Fury on it. And next up we're going to go for Primed Reach as Jack Tag shares the highest reach of all melee weapons with of course Sindo Prime and the Galatine with a massive 5 meter reach but with Primed Reach on well, you can do the math. It's a bit more. It's a bit more than five meters. J just a smidgen. So, now we're looking at this weapon and you're thinking, how can we improve this? Of course, we could go for three elemental mods. But no! I've got a freaking jet hammer. I'm not going to go for a boring-ass elemental build. I'm going to stick seismic wave on this thing. That's what I'm going to do. And whilst I could put a smite mod on, you know, and, and Berserker, I don't think so. I think what we want is Lasting Sting for status duration, and I didn't think this through quite enough. <laughs> we are actually going to go for Finishing Touch, because when the enemy is on the floor and struggling to get back up, running up to him, pressing X and watching you smash his head into the floor is just about the most satisfying thing you can do in this game. Again, I apologize for not maxing Lasting Sting and Primed Heavy Trauma, but as I say, I don't happen to have 600 fusion cores just kicking about doing not much. So let's go test this weapon out. And of course, the only true way to test out a melee weapon is with Mirage. I, I think everyone knows. Oh. I have not changed my Mirage's appearance for a while. We're just going to go to the B page on that. That's awkward. So as I was saying, the only real way to test out any melee weapon is with Mirage. And as we can see, I don't have a good page for her. There we go. That's much better. Vigor, get over there. Come on. What are you doing, Vigor? Why don't I have a transient fortitude on this thing? What was I thinking? There we go. That's more like it. What was I saying? I feel like I was saying something. Something about this giant ass hammer on my back. So my get out of here. No one likes you anyway. As I was saying, about this giant ass hammer on my back that actually scrapes along the floor as I walk because it's too goddamn big. We're gonna go, of course, to series to test this thing out. We're gonna do an exterminate because I want a nice crowd of Grenier just gathering around me and then I want to change into five of me and swing a hammer at them. Because that's how I roll and that's how you should too. 
Now, the jack attack, I feel, doesn't get as much love as it should. You know, you don't often see it in raids and tower fours, unless you're running it yourself. So, I feel like that should change. You know, Sindo Prime, Dacra Prime, and the Glaives are not the best weapons. Well, I mean, sorry, they are the best weapons, but they're not the only weapon you can use. And arguably, because of Primed Heavy Impact, this weapon actually pumps out a little bit more damage. Whilst that damage is impact, that doesn't mean it's worth any less. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't even know where that guy went. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... I d hey, Mr. Bombard. How are you doing today? I'm gonna die and I don't even care. Okay. Okay, let's get this thing out. Let's get this thing out. Roll. Get that stupid latcher off me. Alright, Hall of Mirrors. Hey -o. <laughs> If you were wondering, that did kill the Bombard. And <laughs> it will kill pretty much anything. I don't even need Hall of Mirrors. With Reach and whatever that Ground Slam mod I put on was, this weapon's ground attack damage and and radius are absolutely ludicrous. And whilst I kind of wanted to take Loki out so I wouldn't die whilst running this mission, I mean, seriously, you have to take Mirage when you're testing out a melee. There, there's no ifs and buts about this. So anyhow, let's... Let's show you some of the glorious stance combos which also benefit from primed reach of course and unfortunately I'm not sure how many of these enemies will survive the entire combo to show off the final blow because that guy certainly didn't so let's show you the blocky oh they're already dead um, so let's show you oh. no hold still uh, um. Okay, is he is he here? Uh, okay, let's show you the blocking combo. Oh, Ser seriously, I don't think anything can actually live through the first two hits of this weapon. I mean, quite seriously, if you were to put this on a Loki and have Loki's delightful passive of always critting when he's invisible, it would be ludicrous. And as you can see, the unique thing about the Jack Tag is, in fact, that it gets blast procs when you do a ground attack or the final stroke in any of the combos. And that blast proc also benefits from prime reach and whoa I don't know what I was looking for there but mm. this makes this weapon maybe not the most powerful weapon in the game I mean it certainly gets the biggest number but that doesn't mean anything as you all know but it is certainly one of the most fun melee weapons in the game and I would seriously recommend you try this build if you if you're thinking you know I'm bored of the standard melees what do I want to try oh a synthesis target I didn't even know there was one of these here you sir are now a ragdoll so you can see whilst this guy with his ludicrously high amount of health isn't gonna die to this weapon I can send him flying frequently. Although, I don't know why it isn't now. Do synthesis targets have some weird immunity to getting ragdolled? Oh, no, no they don't. <laughs> and that's half his health. Okay, this weapon is delightful. Okay, I'm blizzing up. This is the Jack Katag, or the Jet Hammer. Thank you so much for watching. From me and the synthesis target, I sincerely thank you. Please like if you have liked this video, and subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or concerns about my strange-ass builds. Thank you. Goodbye.